Now that we've actually got our system with data inside of it, as you can see from here, we have Scott and Sheen. One of the things we want to do is make sure that the data shows up on this page. As such, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a brand new function to display it. So on our index page, underneath our form, let's put in a couple of HR commands. These are just horizontal rules. So if I do a quick save, jump over here to refresh, we get double lines appearing. What we're going to do is we're going to use our PHP and we're going to go list users and we're going to send through the database connection. From here, we now jump in our functions underneath this one here. Function list users dollar sign db connect. From this point, what we do now is we actually get there and we create the SQL for it. So to do that, we go dollar sign SQL. And we go select star, in other words, select everything from users. That's the table that we stored stuff in. As you can see, matches here. And then we're going to create a loop. This is using a for each loop. And what this basically does is it tells the system, as long as there's data in the database, I want you to do this. So for each dollar sign DB connect, when we run our query on the SQL, What we want to do is we want to store it as dollar sign row. So this is a row of data. So this point here is going to contain this one line. And because of that, that means we now have the ability to access each point. So what we'll do is we will echo it out to the screen like this. So we're going to go user. Put in the space and we'll go dot dollar sign row and now we'll list the id and then put in a dot open up a new string and we'll put in all put in that we'll go dollar sign row and here we'll put in username and then Yeah, let's see the password as well. Let's put a dot at dot dollar sign row password like so. And put a line break at the end of it. And then here we'll space it like that. So what this should pretty much do is that it will loop through each the elements and then bring it out for us. So if we click save on that, come back to here, hit refresh. As you can see, user one, Scott password, user two, Gene password. That's how you view information coming out. We tell the database what table to look at, how much we want to get, and which element we want to pull back and show.